This shows up on a bar chart of the top 10 uh, CO2 sources on the planet is buildings in America rate over most of the countries of the world. The buildings in America's CO2 production exceeds the CO, total CO2 production of most of the countries of the world. Um, that's partly because there's a lot of buildings in America and they're well conditioned and they're spacious. But that doesn't change the fact that they're also highly polluting. They can't tell you ahead of time, and that's one of the simplest calculations to say, I'm making a commercial building for $12 million, and I can't tell you what the energy operating costs are within 10%. I mean, the technology is available. It would take a day of consulting time for a mechanical engineer to figure it out. But no one even seems to ask the question of how much energy. Ergo, we have growing CO2 emissions in the architecture segment that we don't see in industry. Transportation, same thing. Irrational consumers. The fuel economy of truck has increased by 30% in the last 15 years. Why? Because trucking companies do numbers. The fuel economy of the, of the private fleet has gone down. Why? Because individuals don't make rational decisions. And in 1956, he wrote a paper that said that, that peak would be in 1971. 1970-71. Uh, and he was a very respected gentleman until that point, and then actually this became a bit of a joke in the industry about how wrong King Hubbard could be and how he had a little bit of a screw loose on this particular issue because, you know, we'd always been able to find more oil as soon as someone really went and looked and tried hard and the price went up. But, of course, in 1971, America reached its peak oil consumption, and it hasn't gone up a little bit at all. It's only declined, declined, declined. Since 1971, oil production in the United States has dropped to 40% of what it was. All that drilling in the Gulf of Mexico, it, all it does is slow the rate of decline. All the Alaska Wildlife Refuge will do is slow the rate of decline. This uh, bogus find of Chevron's Jack in the Gulf of Mexico this summer won't make even a bit of a dent. It is a political move to uh, justify the offshore oil drilling extension. There's going to have to be a big hole where West Virginia was if we're going to extract coal fast enough and in volumes enough to replace what we presently import in tankers. Now, Montana we're going to lose too, but no one will miss it. Uh, the problem with some of this coal is that it's the good stuff has been used, and we're increasingly burning brown dirt. And that means the pollution levels, the volumes needed to be moved to generate power are increasing quite significantly. Now, we can then capture the carbon dioxide and sequester it. Uh, EPRI, the uh, Electrical Power Research Institute, has said that this is unlikely to happen because it would increase the cost of production by two cents a kilowatt hour. And surely our children are not worth two cents a kilowatt hour. I know you could pay with that by simply changing your incandescent bulbs to compact fluorescence and you could, you know, the savings would pay for it, but really, are your children worth changing the bulbs? Probably not. That's what it seems to be in the marketplace.